guys, Andrew here with Dad Verb. So this is gonna be a very different video from our normal stuff. It might be a little bit taboo as well, but I think it's it's an important topic and it's gonna be uh, postpartum intimacy, right? Those first times that you're trying to have sex after you've had that baby. Uh, for new moms, you've just delivered, hopefully, uh, this helps you understand you know, what might feel normal, when to consult your OB, what, how to ease discomfort. Uh, but my main goal with this video is to just help inform new dads, to help you guys understand what might be going on with your partner, why you might not be able to rush into sex right at that six week mark. Uh, I wanna set your expectations so you're not frustrated or pushing for something uh, that your partner just you know, isn't ready for. My wife had the six week bark, you know what that means? I was like, I actually don't. <laughs> I don't want you to think that way. That was Amanda Breedlove. She's a pelvic physical therapist. We're going to hear from her throughout this video. In addition to her, we're talking to two doctors, Dr. Marta Perez. She's a board certified OBGYN and Dr. Jill Kraft. She's also an OB specializing in sexual pain disorders. And she's over at the Center for Vulva Vaginal Disorders in Washington, DC. The last thing I want this to feel like is like a high school health class. So if you got to bounce out of this video and come back next week, <laughs> I get it. Uh, also, if you need to bounce with just a different topic here, use the time code of this video you can skip to wherever you need to. That said, let's dive into our first question. So after birth, how long do couples usually wait until resuming intercourse? We've heard that six week mark. Is it usually for that after that and why? Generally, after a vaginal delivery or after a C-section, any type of birth, the textbooks will say that you should wait about six weeks and generally at six weeks you have that postpartum visit that routine visit where your doctor gives you the quote all clear however some people will who had low complication births will feel back to normal and may be ready to have sex before six weeks and some even though they may be seen by their doctor at the six week visit and cleared if everything looks all healed and back together they may not feel like having sex yet right at six weeks as far as timetables, it's really individualized depending on someone's specific uh, circumstance and situation. For example, if a woman had a really bad tear during childbirth, it's going to take a little bit longer to heal than a woman who, say, has had three babies before and had no tear at all. I also want everyone to know that some people, especially women who are not breastfeeding or are only partially breastfeeding and also using formula, they can actually ovulate and release an egg prior to six weeks. And so we don't want someone to have an unintended pregnancy that early in the postpartum period. So we want to protect you from pregnancy and make sure you're all healed up. All right. So, okay. Based off of that, it is fairly common for couples to go clear past that six week mark. And even then, you know, our partners might continue to feel some pain and sex probably won't be as it was before, right? So the six week mark again is where I really, your doctor or your midwife will wanna check and make sure that things are healing right and will kind of clear you for sex. But if you don't feel ready, that is absolutely then not the time to initiate sex. Research articles have shown that like greater than 85% of births lead to perineal trauma. 80% of women still have pain eight to 12 weeks after having a baby when they try to have intercourse. So we know that it's very common to have pain with sex after having a baby. And that's with generally with a vaginal delivery, especially if there is a tear with the delivery, but we can also see that with a C-section. You may actually want to start going really slow just participating in kissing and touching the first few times you go into intimacy. Those are intimate moments too, even if they're not penetrative intercourse. So you may build up your intimacy into going into sex. And when you start having sex again, it may not be just like old times. You may start and only do two minutes of penetrative sex the first time, and then it may not feel super comfortable. So you stop or you're not ready. And then you kind of build into what would be a more normal for you sex experience. So going slow, really good communication with your partner about how you're feeling and how it's going is really important. There's hormone changes that occur with breastfeeding. So breastfeeding is a large uh, contributing factor to having it a little more difficult to jump back into sex. If she's in a lot of discomfort and stuff, it's probably best to wait a little bit. Don't want to keep pushing at it. but. Uh, what's like a, a normal amount of pain? What's common? What's uncommon? How long is that pain going to persist? So what I like to tell women is that pain with intercourse is common after having a baby, but it is not normal with one caveat. It might be painful or uncomfortable the first few times as you're kind of getting back into it. But then after that, it should go back to being 
enjoyable and not with pain or discomfort. Be mindful of just watching her face, seeing how she feels, because a lot of times women are like, oh, that six week mark, my husband wants to have sex, I need to like do this. So they kind of power through it. Gauge it in a way of like, it should be, it's gonna be a little uncomfortable because that area did go through something um, traumatic and stuff like that. But if it's so significant that she's squinting or kind of like turning away or anything like that, then you know it's probably too much too fast. I would say that if it's been more than 12 weeks, three months, um, and there's still a lot of pain present, um, it's definitely important to follow up with your gynecologist past that six week mark, and even maybe speak with a specialist if the pain persists past six months. Right, so the, so the pain itself, can our partners expect like a sh like sharp pains or like re regular like dull nagging pains? like? What, what can our partners expect and you know what what can be done to, to help ease that? So pain is going to take a couple different forms depending on what the circumstance is. Overall the most common cause is damage to the muscles that line the pelvic floor and those can be damaged and they can also be too tight almost like they're clenched and the treatment for those muscles is physical therapy. Pelvic physical therapists, I encourage every single one of my postpartum patients to see pelvic physical therapists. There can be other causes too in people who are breastfeeding, the level of hormone estrogen is way down in breastfeeding. And so she's not producing all of that natural lubrication that she used to produce before. And so that can present as some dryness, it can present as a raw feeling, especially with entrance. And so the important thing there is to use a lot of lubricant, even if you've never used it before. Lube everything up. Water-based lubes are the best, in my opinion. A lot of foreplay to increase a natural arousal as much as possible. And then and also um, really to go very slow at first to make sure that everything is comfortable. And so these are the these are the first step approaches. If these are tried and it's still a problem, then please go to your doctor because your doctor has some other options and medications that can really help. So on that note, what about like positioning? Is that something that we should be cognizant of or are certain positions gonna be better than others? As far as positions, everyone will be a little bit different in how they feel. You always want to just stick with positions that have been really comfortable in the past because that's going to ease you back in. And if those were are discomfort are uncomfortable now, finding a way to make her whole body relax because when we tense up like our legs or abdominals, pelvic floor muscles will actually engage and tighten and it makes it actually more difficult to penetrate. So say for example, like missionary position on her back taking the legs and like wrapping it around their partner's body to kind of give it support um, over the shoulders or if she's having deeper pain um, having her on top if the woman is on top that gives her more control with the depth of entry and with the positioning and the angle and so generally that's going to be a little bit more comfortable but for you and your body you may find that other positions are what is best for you or best allow you to kind of navigate the pressure or position other people who have once they get past the first few times or they're not noticing any pain or discomfort at all, they may um, not have a preference on position. So I don't have one unique recommendation, except that sometimes the female partner on top is with and having that control is better. Cool. So, all right. So in prepping for this video, I had a bunch of questions coming from Instagram. And one thing particularly from new moms that came in was, uh, I guess, a little bit of concern about getting their tightness back after a baby, you know, open things up. I've heard new moms joke about how like when they jump on a trampoline or something like that, they pee a little bit and they're just like, that's how it is now. But you know, is that how it is now? Uh, is there anything that can be done to help with that? Or, you know, are, like Kegel exercises an effective way of, of helping things? Things have been stretched out by the passage of a baby if there's a vaginal birth. However, over time, especially if the repair was done in a way that reapproximated tissue in its normal anatomic form, we're not talking about this myth of a husband stitch. That's not a thing that I ever do, where I try to make it tighter. I just restore the normal anatomy when I'm fi fixing tears. Over time, the vagina will go back to a normal shape. I have had patients that after several children have said that they felt like their vagina doesn't have the normal amount of rigor or quote unquote tightness. But honestly, this is pretty rare that I have people complaining about this. 
For most women, the vagina is full of elastic muscles, etc., and it goes back to its normal shape. Although it may not be in the first six weeks, it may take um, a few more weeks or months. But I would say most patients don't notice that they feel significantly different. Seeing a pelvic floor physical therapist after birth and kind of following up with them throughout that year is something that I think women should look into. All sorts of people come to me leaking later on and whether or not it be actually doing Kegels properly, because most women that I see do them improperly, or getting back to an exercise routine so you don't leak. Um, all these things are things that a pelvic floor physical therapist will help you with. That's kind of what I do. I make sure you're doing Kegels right. Check if there's any pain, because if you're having pain in that area, Kegels are not something that you wanna be doing. You wanna be figuring out why you're having pain. So you wanna make sure you're addressing the pain and then building the strength. But truly, if you want specifics for your body, I recommend pelvic floor PT. And I'm not patting myself on the back for that, but I really do, do think it helps. Thank you to Dr. Perez, Dr. Kraft, and Amanda for being on this channel and just chatting about something that I feel like isn't being talked about enough among the new dad community. So I know, hopefully we're doing something right. Um, I, I would highly encourage you to follow their social channels on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, I'll link all their stuff down below too. They're brilliant doctors that give great insights. So please go ahead and follow them. And I hope to have them on the channel again. Uh, if you have any questions for them or for me, they're probably going to be better at answering those things. Leave those comments down below or just share your experiences uh, with, with postpartum sex and just be real, like really set expectations for new dads, not just like it's a, hey man, we're back at it, we're good to go. Like there, there's, there's real, uh, there's a, there's a reality to, to getting back in the swing of things, and we want to hear about it. So go ahead and do that. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video, and come back for the next one. God bless. Later.